In the garden this morning, it's a chilly day, but we know that spring has technically sprung. And now's the time many of us start to think about our lawns and bringing them back to life after winter's damage. And here to share some lawn care tips for spring is Jim Wilkinson. He's the owner of Seascape. Welcome back, Jim. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. So we've seen, uh, we saw a good amount of snow this winter. Uh, what does that mean? Even the late snow that we saw recently, what does that mean for our lawns? Got to have very little effect. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you remember a couple of years ago, we had a lot more snow than we did this year. Yeah, and it stuck and, around and for a while. And it stuck around for a lot longer, and we had some major problems with lawns that spring with a disease called snow mold, which grows under the, the snow and, and gives the, the lawn a very matted down brown look. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't had enough snow this year in order to cause that problem. So despite the, the, the late snow and the cold, lawns are gonna be fine. They gotta green up very quick. And we're not gonna have a return of that, that fungus that caused that snow mold issue two years ago. Now, would we know the difference between the snow mold and just, you know, dead grass from the winter, it being brown? The, 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 different, the difference is the snow mold has got a very matted down, water-soaked appearance okay. uh, to the lawn. Um, and you, you need to rake the lawn out very good in order to stand it back up, mm -hmm. so to speak. Uh, this year, that's not going to be necessary. That's nice to hear. Okay, so then what is our first step, our first preparation that we should do to our lawns? Well, get, get the large stuff off the lawns. A lot of people have a lot of limbs that have fallen down. We've mm -hmm. had a lot of wind lately, and there's about a, been a lot of lim limbs that have come down. Uh, you should just give your lawn a general a, a general raking, and then it, it's ready at that point in time for the first application of the season, mm -hmm. uh, which generally uh, is is a fertilizer along with a crabgrass control application that needs to go down sometime during the month of April. Is that safe to do if you have pets too? Uh, it is. Okay. Uh, you probably just to be on the safe side want to keep your pets off for. 30 minutes or so after an application. Oh, not, uh, and, not very long. Not very long at all. That's, ex that's excellent to hear. Now, you mentioned fallen limbs and things like that. And that brings up trees and shrubs yep. and whatnot, and also moths. And we know that there have been some serious uh, uh, moth problems there, those gypsy moths. Is that going to be an issue this year? It's, it's got to be an issue. It's probably going to be at least as bad, if not bad, as, as bad as it was last year. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> based upon surveys that have been done of the gypsy moth eggs that are on the trunks of the trees right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it appears as though it's, it's got to be a difficult season for, for uh, the gypsy moths. Uh, one thing we do look for is if we have a wet spring, uh, there is a natural parasite that will attack the gypsy moths. Mm -hmm. However, it's, it's too late for, for the spring of 2017. Okay. So we're hoping for a wet spring, which will hopefully help us out but that won't be until the spring of 2018. Good to know. All right, you're also going to be at the Rhode Island Home and Garden Show, so thank you so much. Thank if you have you. any further questions, he's very, very knowledgeable, so you can visit him then. If you'd want more information from Seascape, head on over to...